the time has come. I have chainmail. I went to a castle. I bought this. It is made for children. But it's better than nothing. I am poor and I do not have the attention span to make it myself. So, this is made for kids. It may not fit me, but you know, I can sew. We can, we can work with this. Right, let's see what we're working with. Oh, can I get it over my head? Ah. Oh. It's a plus, it's a win, it's over my head. It is strangling me slightly. Wait. <laughs> okay, this isn't bad. I don't know if I could cut the top and then like lower it with something. I feel like it should come down to like here. But apart from that, I'm not mad at it. I, I cut the shoulder seams to make it from here. So then I can lower it down a bit and then I've just gathered in the sides to make it like not out here so it's out here and put some ribbons on. Now I will eventually swap these for leather straps but I just have ribbon, I've only done one side and then I've done the same to the back and then I can tie it up the top to make adjustable length. If you want you could always do this at the side as well and I'm going to go down the other side. I think this would look better with like leather belt straps but that's the vibe I'm going for with this. I finished sewing on all the ribbons so you can have it like this or turn it around and have it without the giant big red cross in the middle. I think we're going to lean into the red for today because it is my favourite colour. So we're going to need something underneath and I vote going leather trousers linen shirt. Okay so trousers on do I look cool? So here's my new chainmail tunic. It's not much yet, but trust the process. We all know I ain't making a video without using this strip of fabric. This is gonna completely cover the cross, but I'm not that bothered anymore. I think I'm gonna do my hair now, and I think I wanna go with braids. Hair has been braided. Success. Belts and braces are definitely needed here. I think one of those leather shoulder things on each shoulder would really help and it would also hide the like little ribbons but I don't have one of them so you can just use your imagination to pretend I've got one. I've got these things so you can't tell my sleeves are too short. I've got a little holder for a dagger here, holder for a sword here and I've got this red ribbon and I feel like I could tie it somewhere to make it look cool. This here is purely for the aesthetic to even out this one and to make me look less like I'm wearing a penny from primary school because that's, that's, that's the vibe I feel like giving right now. Okay, so the other day I went to a cafe for some breakfast and look what I found they were selling! Dagger! Earrings and a necklace. I'm totally wearing these and I also think I'm going to put my outfits on just for funsies. I've also got my chainmail necklace. These shoulder straps are really bothering me. I cannot get the look of like a primary school penny out my head. So I've got this furry scarf and I'm wondering if this is going to make her look better or worse? I cannot tell. <laughs> I think better, let's go with better. Next we need to add some of these. So I'm thinking this one, here, this one, if I can get it in, here, and this one. I feel like I put this, this sword over my shoulder all the time and it needs like its chance to shine. So this can be the hand sword, I think. Ta-da! This is the look. I just realised I forgot the shoes. I'm wearing these shoes. <laughs> right, now that I've remembered the shoes, this is the outfit done. I feel like it's giving knight core slash viking core mixed together, but I'm not mad about it. In fact, I'm quite loving it. So, let me know what you think. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.